Welcome to another tutorial by Graham Daily Photography and in this video I am going to show you how to enhance skies in your landscape images within Lightroom 6 using the graduated filter. Ok, so here I have one of my raw files within Lightroom where I have already applied some basic adjustments such as lens correction, white balance and color temperature adjustments as well as boosting the clarity and vibrance slightly. And now I want to take the sky area and add a little more drama to it and give it a bit more punch. To do this, I am going to use the graduated filter tool. Click on the rectangular looking icon and then click on the effect preset, which will then display a drop down list. Select the highlights preset and then drag the graduated filter from the top of the image down so that the middle line of the filter is closely located to the horizon within your image. Holding the shift key, while dragging the filter down will ensure that the filter is brought down in a perfectly straight and level line. Click on show selected mask overlay in order to see the portions of the image that would be affected by the graduated filter and reposition the filter as needed. Ok, so now we are running into a problem that is often experienced when using a graduated filter and that is that the filter effect is being applied to areas of the image where we do not want it. As you can see, the grass dunes in the midground are being impacted by the filter, as evident by the red mask overlay on screen. Thankfully, this can be easily and quickly fixed within Lightroom 6. While the graduated filter is still selected, click on brush and then on erase. Resize the brush as needed and then simply start painting over the areas of the red mask overlay that we do not want. Essentially by painting over the areas with the erase brush, we are in fact erasing or masking that part of the graduated filter, resulting in those areas being untouched by the filter. Resize the brush as needed in order to become more accurate with the brushing. Continue brushing until all of the unwanted parts of the red mask overlay have been erased. Once the desired mask selection is set, start playing around and experimenting with the graduated filter effect by adjusting some of the values. You can always undo the changes and reset them back to zero if you are unhappy with the results. Remember there are no right or wrong values, simply select the values that deliver the result that you are after. But it is worth noting that subtlety is often the key to getting the right results. Make minor adjustments as opposed to adjusting too much and degrading the quality of your image. In this instance, I will set the contrast value to 20, the highlights to minus 50, the clarity to 40, noise reduction to 10, and increase the temperature value to around 12. Once you are happy with the settings and you are achieving the desired results, click done. This concludes our look at enhancing skies in Lightroom 6 using the graduated filter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and like and follow my Facebook page in order to stay updated on my latest image posts and video tutorials. Thanks for watching.